Good morning, students. How are you all? I hope you are fit and fine. Now, students, in this session, I am going to start lesson number six, the triangle and its properties. In the first session, we will revise the basic concepts of triangle and the new concepts, medians and altitudes of the triangle. Okay, children. So, should we start? Let us begin. Yes, students. Now, in this chapter, the triangle and its properties. First, I will explain and let us revise whatever you have learnt in your earlier class about a triangle. Correct. So, everybody. all of you know that a triangle is a closed figure formed by three line segments correct suppose if i am writing over here a this is b and this is c so this line segment ab then line segment bc and line segment ca are the three sides of the triangle clear understood and which are the vertices of the triangle so a b and c are a b and c are the vertices of a triangle clear children understood now angle a angle b and angle c are the three angles of a triangle angle a angle b and angle c are the three angles of a triangle and which are the sides as i said earlier line segment ab line segment bc and line segment ca are the three sides of the triangle now children these are vertices angles and sides are known as the elements of the triangle clear children these are known as elements of a triangle and now how we are writing symbolically triangle like triangle abc we draw a small triangle before writing the name of the abc so a triangle abc and read it as triangle abc understood children clear students now i will explain classification of triangles on the basis of angles the first one is acute angled triangle a triangle in which measure of all the three angles are less than 90 degree is known as acute angled triangle clear children understood the next one is obtuse angled triangle a triangle in which measure of one of the angle is greater than 90 degree one of the angle is greater than 90 degree is known as obtuse angled triangle understood children clear and the last one is right angled triangle last one is right angled triangle now in this measure of one of the angle is exactly 90 degree is known as right angled triangle students now i will explain the types of triangles on the basis of its sides equilateral triangle in equilateral triangle the measure of all the three sides are equal the measure of all the three sides are equal that type of a triangle is known as equilateral triangle understood children now the next one is an isosceles triangle in an isosceles triangle the measure of two sides are equal 
only the measure of two sides are equal that type of a triangle is an isosceles triangle and a scalene triangle a triangle in which no two sides are equal is called a scalene triangle no two sides are equal means the measures of all the three sides are different they are not same so these are the three types of triangle on the basis of sides that is first one is equilateral triangle all the three sides are equal in measure in an isosceles triangle two sides are of equal length and in the scalene triangle all the three sides are of different measure clear understood students the next topic is medians of a triangle first of all let us understand what is median what is median of a triangle children median of a triangle is a line segment which connects the vertex of the angle to the opposite midpoint of the opposite side so children here if i will draw one line segment from a and this is a midpoint of the line segment bc so if i will draw like this so line segment ad is a median of this clear are you getting line segment ad is a median of triangle abc which connects the vertex a to the up midpoint of the opposite side bc this midpoint divides the side into two equal parts that means bd is equal to dc understood children we can draw other two line segments also like this suppose if i will take b is a vertex then i will draw one line segment like this and this is this line segment divides ac into two equal parts so be is also and uh, be is also a median of the triangle abc and one other we can draw from c to ab that is here so this one suppose if it is f so this vertex is joining the line segment of with the midpoint of segment ab and so ad be and cf are three medians of the triangle abc understood children are you getting and the point where this three line segment intersect each other are no is known as centroid this point is known as centroid clear now here you can see that there are three medians a triangle has three medians understood children clear and a median connects a vertex of a triangle to the midpoint of the opposite side vertex of the triangle to the midpoint of the opposite side understood children clear students now i will explain altitudes of a triangle an altitude in a triangle is the perpendicular line segment drawn from the vertex to the opposite side now here in triangle a b and c i have drawn first line from the vertex a to the opposite side bc this is a perpendicular distance from a to bc correct the second one i am drawing that is from 
B2 opposite side AC. B2 opposite side AC. Clear children? Understand? And the third one is C2 opposite side AB. C2 opposite side AB. These three line segments are known as altitudes of a triangle. So, a triangle has three altitudes. How many altitudes a triangle has? Three altitudes. Clear children? Understood? A triangle in which these three altitudes intersect each other, that point is known as orthocenter. This point is known as orthocenter. So, children, the other thing is, the, this point can be inside the figure or it can be outside the figure also. Here in this triangle, you can see that the perpendicular distance is outside the triangle over here, correct? So, this orthocenter can be outside the figure or inside the figure. An altitude of a triangle is the perpendicular line segment drawn from the vertex to the opposite side. Here from A to BC, from B to AC and from C to AB. So in all there are three altitudes of a triangle. Clear? Understood? Students, now we will solve sums from exercise 6.1. Here a very simple figure we have to draw. A rough sketch of triangle PQR in which PQ and PR are altitudes of the triangle. Now children, you know that an altitude is the perpendicular line segment drawn from the vertex to the opposite side. So here PQ and PR are the perpendicular line segment drawn from a vertex P to the opposite side. Clear? Understood? Students, now here sum number 3. Verify by drawing a diagram if the median and altitude of an isosceles triangle can be seen. So, let us draw one triangle. First of all, we have to draw a, an isosceles triangle. So, you know that in an isosceles triangle, the two sides are having equal length. Clear? So, over here, I am drawing P. Q and R. This is a tri isosceles triangle PQR in which PQ and PR are the equal distance. They are, these two segments are of equal length. And this PS is a connecting line seg is a line segment connecting vertex to the opposite side midpoint of the opposite side so can we call it this is a median because children you know that median is a line segment which connects a vertex to the upper midpoint of the opposite side clear and the other thing is an altitude of a triangle is the perpendicular line segment drawn from the vertex to the opposite side. So PS is a median as well as a, an altitude also. So we conclude that in an isosceles triangle, median and altitude drawn from the vertex to the third side are always same. Clear children? Understood? So students, here we sum up with our session 1. Do other sums of exercise 6.1 and thank you so much.